hello hello everyone how are you hope all is well with you all you and your families happy new month and isn't the year going so fast the year just started we're in the fifth month already anyway happy birthday to all the may barns happy happy birthday and many many more to come why oh boy so good lord don't you guys see anarchy let loose in Jamaica? Violence, violence, violence. What is going on with you lot? Could it be the stress of surviving in Jamaica is playing out in the Jamaica society? You see how the school kids is like they all gone mad. Family against family. Friends turn friend killers. It's even worse now because they was doing that long time. Jesus laws. People will hate you for even the food you eat. Lord Almighty. How can we avoid all this chaos? Parents, are you not ashamed of the disgrace the children you brought into the world is adding to the society? You are also responsible for some of their actions you can't escape the reality now let's be real children never born bad angry and disrespectful they never born to fight and be malicious and cut that crap about them bloodline it's how you groom them let's get into the sauce when a baby is born if you speak Chinese, Italian, French or Spanish around them, that's what the baby will speak. It will be its first language. But of course, as they grow, they will emulate the things that are happening around them. And for those parents who say I am a good parent, yet you chat people, tear down people, criticize people, and pass disparaging remarks about people in the presence of your children stop fooling yourself you're not a good parent you are already teaching them to be negative and bad mind and covetous towards people some of you are war boats at the drop of a hat when you're ready to fight and create chaos and dramas and guess what you show these kind of attitudes in front of your children always picking fights always being disruptive what do you think your children was going to be like yet some of you would scold your children for this same attitude that you are the same one that showed it to them and you're really expecting them not to follow where you lead then you have another set many of the christians why is it that christian and pastor children is always the most sneakiness and the worst children to deal with because guess what they learn these little sneaky attitudes same place at home because be it sunday or saturday you will not deck out well dressing pretty hat and clothes and boots just to impress or compete with other church sisters sometimes for the attention of other brothers in the church yet when you reach home after church you say you did see sister b at the same outfit she did wear come barbecue and the handbag the match at all hey and the one sister d are dressed it little too short that shoes not ready at all your children listening to you you are not showing any example and it is happening in homes over and over we're saying one thing and acting one way to the public but yet still we are crab in a barrel attitude that you're having and your children is sitting right there learning and picking up all of those attitudes to carry the display out in society you know make it wicked Yes, when they go out there, then go and buck up on like mine friends in school or same place, even at Sunday school or at church. It's when they lick it together, them capitalize to another level and their attitude 
and they are the worst thing since sliced bread but guess what you're still not going to think that it started with you as parents you will not need to stop being so covetous some of you you hardly see your outside but you're in your house you're peeping through the window at mix x and saying she hype since she a driver a new car you see while poor miss x come she buy her car you know come out and talk to her at the fence no more you only a peep through window because the way the bad mind stand up in you you can't say congratulations me love your car and at the same time poor miss x can't understand why she can't see you and of course in your head you're going to make up some reason for hate miss x now your children is there watching you and they seeing you doing all of these things and you might think it is just simple but it is real the things that you do and say whether in front of people or behind your back as long as your children is there who pay attention and watch you more than your children you're grooming them from little they're picking up on your energy they're watching your energy they're feeding off your attitude and that is what they're going to take out into society you think this anarchy out in society with this great amount of bad men think them just go out there and they learn it at school you think them just go out there and just follow them friend while parents want to take themselves away and say i never teach them that how could they make me shame because i was never like that i trained them the way them should grow no you too lie you never train them the way they were going. You talk to them about the way they should grow while you were doing something else. And they are following exactly what you are doing. When you think about it, your children is seeing you, watching you, hearing you, and is emulating all these bad minded attitudes. The ones thing you need to remember is how your children is trained at home. That is what they are going to emulate and that is what they are taking out into society. The place is a disaster. Children, violence against children. Oh gosh, the poor teachers, them at school. Out in public when you see them, you dare not even talk to them. You know, I was walking there and a little girl, two young young girls, you know, but they're more than probably not if them 15 yet and so on and they were walking and the girl said stop kill up kill up yourself you know here and all you are talking you know and so on you know me don't know what to do again you know because my man him just has stressed me so and him not here and worse everybody like him so what me to do about it because anything when friend them say are that him going to do i me think to myself and say stress what kind of stress you are talking about you know all right now I wish if some miracle could have worked and I could have turned back being a child, you know. You know, being adult, you know how much responsibility that come with. You have to pay your bills. Bills, 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 not take no time off. You have to be responsible for life. You have to be responsible for everything that you do. You know, the enjoyment of being a child. You know, I wonder where the next grain of food coming from. Well, at least that's how it should be. Because your parents should be there to provide all that. And I know, unfortunately, some children have to really start early. But the reality is, as a child, you know, take on certain stress. You're not ready for that yet. These children are way beyond the years. I think instead of them going to school, most of them need to go get a job we need to stop forcing them to go to school give them options you want to go and do something to make some money in your pocket or you want to go and sit down in school and learn worse after them get basic training because me i tell you say majority of them don't go school for learning trust and believe that sometime when you look on social media and it is too often now you see videos circulating with teacher and student in toss up big fight like them a big man and big woman not saying you know 
that a lot of these teachers don't come with the appropriate attitude to contribute to children grooming the right way but instead contribute more likely to children even getting worse but remember you can't tell these generation of children to do as I say when you are doing something else because they are blatantly going to look at what you do and follow and do what they want and even worse many of them based on the kind of parent they have they may not do it in front of their parents they do it out there in society we as parents have to be careful the examples that we set for example check this say for example you live in a neighborhood and you have other close neighbors with you or even other family members if you really want to know if the parents or guardian talk about you or tear you down in any negative way behind your back watch the attitude of the children towards you and how they behave watch how quickly they switch from how they used to handle themselves or deal with you when you just know them and how they are behaving now you can use it as a telltale sign to know what is going on behind your back because the children they have a way of playing out attitudes and if you are quite smart you can really pick it up this situation is not a situation where you can play it off and say is the influence of shows that them watch on tv or is the influence of social media yes social media has its influences but guess what happened you see when you have discipline in your home and you're an example parents in all aspects of the world because i don't think people just think that's parents and you just dictate to children what to do it automatically come with respect no if you are a grounded parent and you set things in motion let me tell you something sometimes just a look you hear me tell you and them know what time it is when i grow in my children me not take not check it. me and them is best friend me have a code with them you see if you say you're going to z and you leave anger a if me here say bomb drop a a you know me now come a a come look for you, you know because as z you say you're gone you understand so let me know where you go because if i emergency and you call me and you're where you say you were i got you and i do the same thing because it go both ways if i'm going somewhere xyz i let them know where i'm off to bear in mind you know nobody life is perfect you see when i have boys and girls you see, not a problem with the girls. It's when the boys just start to go in high school and them have them like a flitching attitude like you're talking and then back answering. You see, you may want my house mash up. I say, listen to me. Step out around the back. Because you want to fight me? I say, if you want to fight me, I say, step out around the back. Because who win decide where you will live. You hear me tell you? So step out round the back and we st step out round the back. And I said, listen to me. We just say a while ago. Or what you doing? Or what you saying? Nothing, mommy. I said, let me tell you something. If you want to fight, I'll fight. You understand what I mean? If it's, that is what you want. Is that what you want it to be about? No, mommy. Oh, because of me ready for deal with them, mommy. Kick with them foot, man. And that was then when they were younger, just going to high school. They were having like attitudes and so on. And quick o'clock, they grow out of it. Me and make them know, say, listen to me, man. And me and walk and I spend my money upon you and I sacrifice for you. And me and the mother up in this. You understand what I mean? So at the end of the day, make sure say, you understand yourself. And you're not going to go out there and make me feel shame. You understand what I'm saying? And the way you me put things in place. Let me tell you this. You say anything, then can come ask me and talk to me about be it girlfriend, boyfriend, it no matter whether it have to be about sex, anything. You understand? But me let them understand the boundaries. 
me not going to cow them down and make them feel less than a person where they can't talk to me. So guess what happened? Even though they're much older now, everything we can chat about with everybody know where the line is drawn. And that is the thing about it. As parents, sometimes you have your children. And no matter how stupid or foolish or whatever the situation is, make them feel like them can come and talk to you about anything. Put down the facts, say, you're a parent and certain things you don't talk to me about. Go away with that. That not working at this age because they are going out there, they're hearing things, their friend talking about things and them sittings on social media. It's better you address it and let them know the right way more than they can't talk to you because you put such fear in them and so on that much that they can't speak to you and they are going to learn the wrong way right now me and my kids will come in like brothers and sisters that's how we roll and everybody have to know them level and respect you understand when you have children you have to pay attention me not going to see anything and turn a blind eye to it. I know what they're capable of and what they will do. You understand? And them have to have respect for themselves and them have to have respect for people. You understand? I learn them how to be able to communicate to people, how to walk away from situations. I am a person that from ever since I basically work 24-7 sometimes the work is so hectic that i can't get a breath but i still in all of that take time out to have family time where i put everybody to sit down and i say is there anything that i am doing that you guys don't like me could talk about it and i will tell them if there's anything that they are doing that i don't like and of course amongst each other anything they are doing that affect each other that they don't like and we sort it out from there and who can change what they do this way and who can compromise that way that is all we build as a family we can't just have children and just thinking that it's just business as usual you just pop them out you feed them and whatever you just go about your business and so on it no work like that you buy them critical clothes and boots and everything they want you can give it to them that is not parenting you understand it's just absolutely crazy i mean for the last few weeks said the last three weeks i think like every day for the last three weeks there is a school where two children toss up who haven't been injured bad and gone hospital injured bad and pass away it is a constant thing it, i'm telling you as a mother me feel so broken hearted torn up and cut up about it because you know what i feel a lot of these children if they have genuine love and circle around them them can't be so angry and hateful out the road and there is i know people going to say all kind of things but me tell you something me love children and all children are my children they will have difficult for example them parents but you see how oh, i deal with them and i make them feel comfortable talking to me but know them space i get them to do things i get them to compromise i talk it come like i want bag of pit they may have because of how they're able to can get things across and learn and understand that if you have something to look forward in life why are you going to waste it now by putting yourself in a situation where you're going to end up going to prison get hurt learn how to handle conflicts and walk away if that one they are at it and that one they are at it and so on and everybody are trying to impress them peer because a lot of these these um fights are going on with the students you know they might try to impress them friends with them power with you know so them tough and them rough you know and so on i want to tell you when them in the problem and sit on a police station or them sit down by themselves they are thinking to themselves you know say all that never call for me could have walked but them not gonna say it out you know because we have, have a, we have a society set in such a way that you have to tough up and you have to be the baddest the wickedest you know what about love what well, people don't love again you know love people don't care about each other again and this is the thing that it starts in the home it's terrible it's terrible it's terrible 
I fret for all people who are having children now that are going to go to school. Every day your child go out to school. You have to fret and hope say your child come back home to you. You have to cover your picnic with the Bible and the words of God before your child step out there. And so on because guess what happened? You're not guarantee based on what is going on, you're not guarantee so the child is going to come back home to you in one piece. It's depressing. I wanted to do the stories and say each one of these incidents that happened and I was so depressed. I think sometime doing this kind of thing YouTube it sort of bring on a certain depression when the stories is constantly the same thing. This youth, this one. This youth take out this youth. This girl and this one fight. This girl's gangs, this girl. This boy gang. And it is, it is coming like it's touching every school now. It's like a style now. Everybody will do it. And guess what? Somebody always did it with a video camera to video it. It painful, man. Put it this way. All well thinking parents. I'm not leaving out the fathers, but just because I'm talking here as a woman, sorry, I might seem a bit biased. But all well thinking parents, when you think about these things, it's hurting. It's hurting. How do we move past this? Did I dare hear someone saying that? Should they put a pastor or someone like that um, in the schools to help guide the children? That will never help. You know why? Because the children right now already groom with them and respect nobody. Them not going to respect no pastor. Because them already see the people them at the top. Oh, they they them basically the same thing in essence. You understand? And then look at everybody as the same criminal. It's like the whole Jamaica society is now. Everybody bungled up in a one big barrel. Everybody a thief, criminal. Whether a white color, blue color, whatever color. And so everybody do the same thing. Only thing some is more... You have rich people badness, pauperizing people badness, borderline badness is like everybody are bad people. So at the end of the day, them not gonna really pay much and no respect to no pastor and But let me tell you this. If you put two police on the school compound, who them know chances are going to lock them away, or even worse, if it come to it, they will listen more. And it is sad to think about it that you have to have somebody like that and it would even worse if them put a soldier two soldier post at the school them definitely would have behaved themselves and we don't want to militarize everything but when you think about it we just a talk when you think about it who you think they're going to fear not to mention if you get two bad men from the community where them know say a real bad man and put them in the school for control discipline at the school where you think would happen out of the pastor and the guidance counselor and the teacher and the bad man from the corner who them know no ram for knock them out who you think them would have respect more eh talk to me in the comment section them are gonna respect the bad man more you understand because they more look up to him as a dan and a this and a whatever else you understand it is sad we as parents need to sit down and talk to our children more find out what is going on find out how we can divert things from happening some conflict resolution and start it at home the thing about it is that that is so unfair for parents as well trying to survive in this country jesus lord it's another trick the difficulty of getting anything done the, the bills don't take no day off and you're focusing on that while trying to keep a roof over your head trying to make sure your children's fees are paid and they're gone to school sometimes by the time you reach home you barely have time for you to have a good conversation with your child so it has to take extra effort for you to be on top of things and it is just sad all the way around you understand it's really 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 sad but what we're going to do from we have them we have to try and put out the effort. I generally say, yo man, and my ones them younger, thank God them, them are bigger people now, and so on. Is that, I feel like I don't have no life. I have to be on top of every single thing. I have to be on top of who is them friends. I have to be on top of friends um, that they may go and visit. I have to make sure I know them mother, father, if with them father is there, what are parents, if grandmother is there, guardian, I have to know 
me have to make it my duty meet them make sure me know them so we have a rapport and so on and if any friend come into my home me have to know them peer me then come and we know what kind of home them come into so it, it, it takes a lot out of you so much so you feel like you don't have a life it's like your life is about them but guess what happened are we got trouble them and are we bring them here so we really have to put our foot down to do our best in terms of guidance. I mean, I tell you, say, things won't happen, you know. Because you have had situations when your child will walk away, walk away, walk away. And things still happen. But guess what happened? If your child is very aware and can notice something that can jump off before it jump off. You understand? Just maybe that child able to can avoid something going funny because you know so sometimes something can happen and you can turn it around for good in terms of arguments supposed to start and whatever you just turn it around in terms of make the person feel like them win and walk away at the end of the day them don't take nothing from you and you go on about your business but your child have to have that level of confidence of knowing say it doesn't really matter just for a peaceful life make it go on and with so with much more of those kind of thinking out there going out into the world and the schools it would make so much difference because how much of us parents were out there in this life and there's so much situation that if we did if hearted lick hearted old things would have worked out somebody have to be able to have a calm head and if we try at least to get our children to understand how to have self-control and how to divert things I know it's not a perfect situation to do. Trust me, I learn along the way. Me never just get up and know it. But I'm always a person because me always a who's with love. Oh, me love everybody. Lord gee, until when time you do me something for me, I will not love you anymore. But me love everybody. So me is a lover, not a fighter. So the thing about it is that it is easier for me to do it because that's what I am like. But the thing about it is that I learn along the way. It was easy for me to learn and understand people. And I know sometimes you have some people, then come off with them ignorance and arrogance. But guess what happened? You see, if you were able to just smile or change a thing into a joke or so on, you're not surprised to know all of a sudden that person turned into this nice, nice person. As I tell you, I go out into this life every day and I see so much things happen. I go into places and I go in there and I see somebody in there and them looking from head to toe and then looking. And I let them start to come up with a judgment against you and them don't know you. And I said, what happened to you today? You know, smile. Just that alone, a pure teeth. Just that alone, a pure teeth and then temperament change. Sometimes you have to be that kind of person. You understand? And uh, that is why, for me, I don't know myself as having no enemies. And at the same time, everybody that I deal with, I have them on a level. You understand? Because I don't open up people's life, and I don't make people open up my life. So at least we're able to can deal with each other at a point. You have to stay on top of the circle that your child is involved in. Don't get it twisted. It is your duty. To know what is going on with your child and nip it in the bud from early remember some simple things that you do can make things worse you know because for example if you your child did something and you will lie for them you know what you are doing you are telling them it was okay to do so and the reality is you have just encouraged them to continue doing what they did so I saw this story on social media this street vendor in Montego Bay is a case in point. The vendor has a stall each on the sidewalk near the Chinese woman business place. There are witnesses that saw the vendor's child going into the Chinese people's store, you know, tampering with items on the shelf. The store owner was alerted to this. She reprimanded the child and escorted her out the store. The child run go tell her mother that Miss Chin hit her. Mother flew up in rage, up in Miss Chin's face. Even though Miss Chin is trying to explain what the child did, 
The mother does not hear in that. She's in a fit of rage. Grab a frying pan from a nearby shelf and hit the Chinese woman in the head. The wound was so severe. The angry mom then drop the pot and grab the child and disappear. Now the police is trying to locate the mother and the child and is asking anyone with information to give the police on where they could be. What lesson has this mother just taught the child? She is teaching this child to be wrong and strong and the child already know the kind of temperament mother that she has but because she couldn't get her own when Miss Chin's store she go to her mother and tell her mother something to make her mother flip up on Miss Chin. Now with parents like these, what do you think we're going to have out there? What kind of children do you think parents like these is going to put out into society? Listen to what happened and tell your child not to do it again. Apologize to Miss Chin and you move on from there. Just make sure one your child don't go back in the store as this has been something regular that this child does because the mother stall is right outside miss chin's store sometimes you see i so wish men would understand it's not every woman they sleep with or penetrate they are to turn into mothers some is just there for the fun of it because situations like these is what contribute to the mess that the society is in me not asking christ if you are a real mother or father and you're involving your child life you will know their behavior pattern and how to put a stop to things from early the greatest thing i want to know now is what we are going to do to stop all these violence in school we can't continue so it is mind boggling you understand and i could say it don't affect me directly because i have no children going into school yeah but at the end of the day i'm a mother i'm a jamaican and when i see these children out there you understand and the other thing about they're not fighting they are taking each other lives what we need something has to be done it can't continue so like every, right now it's like children crime and violence is competing right now it coming like put it this way crime and violence with adults and thief and police and all that has nothing on the children crime right now majority of the crimes that is happening right now is children and children you know so say a chaos that it crazy because you know see if a little you turn to you and tell us you wait till i come back he might come back you know no fool yourself in coming back and this is the thing why the need for violence so much you understand there's nothing else going on in the society that can make them feel like men and women we need to go back to the drawing board both at home and in schools because we have to put some things in place and we have to start with the early ones start from basic school because some of these lot that reach up here so it's going to take a tornado to turn them around but we have we simply have to do something you understand and it affects all of us anyway guys please remember to like comment and subscribe to my platform please love you all bye for now